Porthcawl Museum is celebrating its links with one of the most daring missions of the Second World War. The Dam Busters raid saw men train at nearby St Athen and Stormy Down air bases before embarking on a flight which changed the course of the war. James Crichton-Smith reports. It was clear from the test flights that any attempt to design a bomb and carry out a raid to destroy the Mone, Sorp and Ada dams in Nazi Germany wouldn't be easy. But it was done on the 17th of May 1943, in no small part thanks to airmen from bases in Wales. Among them, Belinda's second cousin Gordon, a front gunner and known as the Welsh Dam Buster. The plane took off at 9.47 from RAF Scampton, flew over the North Sea and the lowlands of Holland, approached the Mona Dam, and there's the bomb, which is known as the Upkeep, was the fourth bomb to have dropped, and it bounced across the Mona and breached the dam and on the way back. They, somehow they didn't go through the designated channel, and the plane was shot down by the Germans over the Dutch coast, so close. We didn't make it. In honour of Gordon and those who served alongside him, the London Mint Office have struck a commemorative coin. It shows a Lancaster bomber and it shows it flying over uh, the Moan Dam, uh, which I think was, is, is particularly fitting. The Moan uh, was the first dam to be targeted. Uh, it was successfully breached. It caused catastrophic damage to the Nazi war machine. Uh, Hitler had to recall 70,000 uh, people into the region to help sort out the damage and put it right. And of course, while they were working on rebuilding the dams and repairing all the factories that were destroyed, uh, it meant that they weren't on the front line fighting our troops. For Porth Calls Museum, today is significant. To know something about the fact that this little insignificant place had something to do with the dams raid, it's really wonderful for us. It's an honour to have them here. And donated to the museum today, a piece of Gordon Yeo's Lancaster. Retrieved from the Dutch coast, a tangible reminder of those who never made it home. James Crichton-Smith, ITV News, Porthcawl.